the Lord tonight. I will celebrate. I 
God of wonders. God of wonders beyond our capacity. You are holy. holy. Sing holy. old school Bob Dylan song. Georgia, y'all better be careful. If you don't watch it, we're going to have a little bit of church up in here tonight now. You better be careful. Put them hands together. Come on. I was blinded by the devil on a really rude way. Strong cold dead as I stepped out of the womb. By his grace I have been touched. By his word I have been healed. By his hand I've been delivered. By his spirit I've been sealed. Now I'm saved. Whole place to sing, save. Are you ready? 
again by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, Y'all can do a little bit better than that, Georgia. Let me hear you sing, say, by the blood. Let's get a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit louder now. Here we go. By the blood. Oh, yeah, tell me now. Are you? By the blood. Yeah. Mr. David Carr playing the drums, y'all. song we're going to play for y'all tonight. This is called Father of Lights and on the hammered dulcimer y'all say hello to the lovely, the talented Mr. Brian Bond.
We got us a good looking crowd here tonight. Everybody look around you. We're gonna do old school like in church when I grew up. When you looked around, you found somebody you didn't know, and you introduced yourself. Go. All right, that's good. You're being too nice now. Come on. All right, now we're going to pass the offering plate. Amen. <laughs> well, I've had some bad allergy stuff happen the last two or three days, so I might lose my voice tonight. If I do, is there anybody that can take my place up here, be the next man up, and sing for the third day tonight? Anybody? Come on. I'm watching you, watching you. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to do some new songs for you tonight. We're going to do some old school songs. We're going to do everything in between. How many of y'all, anybody here seen Third Day in Concert before? Anybody? Keep your hands up high. If you have seen us, just real quick, unofficial survey. One, two, three. Up and down. How many of you have seen us? You've heard that joke. How many of you, it's the first time ever seeing Third Day? Put your hands up high. All right. Now, it's rare that we go somewhere and more people have seen us than not seen us. But then again, we're in our home state. We are so glad to be back in Georgia. Right? Now, how many of y'all currently, I mean currently, don't live in the great state of Georgia and you live somewhere else? Raise your hand if you came in from somewhere else. Let's give a big Georgia welcome to all those people raising their hand. Thank you. And if you've seen a lot of these video cameras, we're uh, recording tonight and it's going live across the interwebs on Yahoo. And so there's a lot of people joining us online. So all the people out there joining us online, y'all raise your hands and say hey. And then everybody here in Georgia, say hey to everybody online. There's millions and millions of watchers right now. Don't let that make you nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be worried. It's fine. Let's see if anybody remembers this one. You ready? Let's see if I can remember it. Hold on. The key is it. Key G, brother. Well, you are beautiful, my sweet, sweet song. Sing it. We are beautiful, sweet, sweet song. Sing it if you know it now. Come on. We are beautiful, sweet, sweet song. I will sing again. You are so good, you are so good to me, and you heal my broken heart. You are my father in heaven. You are so good to me, and you heal my broken heart. You are my father in heaven. You are beautiful, you are beautiful, my sweet, sweet song. You are beautiful, my sweet, sweet song. You ride upon the clouds and you lead me to the truth. You are the spirit inside me. We ride upon the clouds and you lead me to the truth. You are the spirit inside me. Everybody sing. Let me hear you now.
says the grass will wither and the flowers will fall, but the word of our God will last forever. Amen. Let's sing that together. The grass will wither and the flowers will fall. wonderful choir joining us tonight. Atlanta's very best. Every city we've been going in, we get on the tour, we get volunteers from that city 
to uh, come and sing with us, and I think this is one of the better sounding choirs we've had on the whole tour, so thank y'all so much. And to our featured soloist and our choir director tonight, our good friend Harvest Parker. So we're gonna dismiss them for a little bit, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna do a few songs without them. Don't worry though, don't worry. They're gonna be back in a few minutes. Don't worry. We gotta do a couple of old school songs. They don't know. A couple of don't sit down yet. You're gonna get a chance in a minute. I promise. We gotta do some old school stuff. So you know some songs that 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 we knew before some of those kids were even born in the choir. So they don't know these songs. We got any old school fans here? And when I say old school, it doesn't mean that you're old necessarily. Maybe your mom and daddy played third day for you when you were in the crib or something. I don't know. But uh, man, this is us. We've been looking forward to this night for so long and it's finally here and we're so glad y'all are here. Thank you. Let's see if you remember this one. Well, I want to sing a song for you. Oh. Song. Hey. I want to lift my voice to her song. Listen to the angels sing along. Yeah. A song of your faithfulness, a song of your grace, and of your loving kindness to the glory of your name. With everything that's in me, Lord, listen to me say. I want to sing a song for you, I want to sing a song.
caught a glimpse of your splendor in the corner of my eye. Most beautiful thing I've ever seen. She was like a flash of lightning reflected off the skies. And I know I'll never be the same. Y'all sing it. Send down your presence. Wanna see your face. Come on. Majesty shines about you. I can't go on without you, Lord. When I climb down the mountain and get back to my life, I won't set up for holding everything. Gonna follow you forever. This next song is going to be one that, uh, well, don't sit down yet. After this song, I promise after this song, you can sit down. Y'all been working hard tonight, huh? Have you had a good time with all our friends out here tonight? Now, when we say friend, third day and friends, that's not just like, okay, well, we might know a couple of the guys. These are guys that we have been on tour with. We love their music, we're inspired by their music, and not only their music, but by them as men of God. And so what an honor to share the stage with so many great artists tonight in our home state. Man, it's just a, it's a lifelong memory for us, y'all. So it's been a long time since we've done this song. We didn't do it on this, we haven't done it really this year. Maybe a little acoustic version of it, but we haven't done the full song. But uh, we're back home, so we gotta do it for y'all. Please, Lord, help me remember the words. My life has led me down the road that's so uncertain. Now I am left alone and I am broken. I'm trying to find my way. Y'all sing. Try. Yeah, sound great. This time. I know that you are holding all the answers I'm tired of losing hope and taking chances All the roads that never seem To be the ones that bring me home Sing it! Give me a revelation To 
Okay, let me see what this is. Okay, third day is playing at Turner Field. Sunday, August the 9th, Braves versus Marlins. Concert after the game. Okay, is that an invitation? That's the invitation? We accept your invitation, Homer. What do you have here? Oh, my goodness. A third day, I mean, a Braves jersey for me? Thank you, wow. Amazing, for me? Wow. You guys, uh, what about these guys? They need a t-shirt at least, come on. We got any Braves fans here tonight? Wow, thanks Homer. Throw them all out there, he's got a good arm. Way up there in the top, top they don't have the, oh, the gun. Shoot, shoot the t-shirt out, there you go. It's awesome. Two more, look out. 
Yeah, give one to Brian. He's a good bass player. Throw that to Brian. Nice, nice arm. Thanks to the Braves ladies and for Homer for being here tonight. Yeah, give him a big hand. Man, I cannot, ooh, I, got, I can't wait to wear this thing. August the 9th, right? Is that what it was? August the 9th. August the 9th. Y'all come join us at Turner Field. We've never played at the stadium before. First so time ever. First time ever. You know, it's funny, Mac, like uh, so many times we do a show and I say, man, it was like a dream come true. That really was kind of like a dream come true. Usually in my dreams, like Homer the Brave comes out on stage with us and invites us to the Braves game. That's when you're eating pizza right before you go to bed. You get that. that, that you dream. know what? I ate some pizza right before the show. That okay. might have had something I get to do. it. I get it. One more time for Homer. Come on, the Brave. Now, y'all can have a seat. Get some rest while you can. It's pretty much the last, uh, last chance to rest the rest of the night till you lay your head on your pillow late tonight. Now, you know, with the, there have been two things I've been thinking about on, up here on stage because, you know, struggling a little bit with my voice. And as I said, it's those allergies. Past, anybody else dealing with allergies right now, past few days? It's killing me. And so there's two things I'm, I'm wondering about, or three things really. I'm wondering, okay, part of me losing my voice is because of, because of allergies. Uh, second thing, uh, I've also, my beautiful wife Amy has been out of town this whole week and my three older kids have been gone, and so it's just been me and the two little kids, five and six-year-old, the whole week. And uh, I may have lost my voice yelling at them all week. I don't know. That may be part of it. Are they still out there? Gigi, Gigi is here. Gigi, do you have um, Amy's mama? That's her grandmother. Name is Gigi. Gigi, are you here out there? Oh, she's on the side. Okay. So Gigi's taking care of the kids right now because my wife went to go pick up my oldest from the airport. She's flying in from Costa Rica right now. So y'all say, hey, Gigi. Hey. And my son, Emmanuel, is over there. Say, hey, Emmanuel, wave your arms, buddy. Emmanuel, love you, buddy. And where's Bertie Claire? Is Bertie Claire down there? Wave. Bertie Claire, say hey to everybody. I know your kids are here, right? Stephanie's here. And yes, uh, my wife, Stephanie, is over here stage right somewhere. There she is right over there. Wave, Stephanie, wave to everybody. And then. She had, my wife is crazy. She had this idea that my oldest daughter, Abby, she's 11. And so my wife is like, invite some of your friends. And so some of your friends turned into this big, like gaggle of girls over here. So Georgia, y'all got to pray for me. That's all I got to say. But uh, yes, my daughter, Abby, my other daughter, Kitty is here. And so uh, thank you all for having us. We're excited about it. Well, what about you, Dave? Dave, you got, got family here? I think so. I don't know where they are. Are they over there? I can't see all this glare. Okay, yeah, there's my wife Jennifer over there. And I think my boys are over there, Ethan and Wyatt. Uh, Ethan just turned 13, so yeah, pray for me. And um, yeah, we're good, we're all good. Good to have my family here. So Scotty, what about you, Daddy? You, your family's here? I do, I got my mama and them here from Maysville, Georgia. Mama and them's here, all right. Yep. I got my beautiful, godly, hot wife. Dear Amen. <laughs> Amen. And my three babies over here, Levi, Lucy, and Boston. And uh, man, thank y'all for coming out. Oh, I didn't say, uh, my little girl, Cammie Love, just came in. Where's Cammie Love? She's, she's right over there. Cammie Love just came in town uh, from doing some ministry stuff down in Florida at Blue Sky. So Cammie Love, wave. She's my third child. She's the middle. Love you, Cams. And then let's see, Brian, you, he lives in Nashville, so his family's in Nashville. And Tim's family, Tim Gibson on the bass, helping us out on the bass on this tour. Your family's down at Florida vacation. Yeah, my wife and kids, they're all down. They're like, we've seen their day, we'll go on vacation. <laughs> also, was just thinking about something else. I'm losing my voice either from the allergies, yelling to kids all, all week, or don't go spreading the rumor that I got my hair cut, so therefore I lost my superpowers. Don't be... <laughs> I'll be spreading that rumor. Nice. Just coincidence. That's all. That's all that is. I love this song we're about to play for y'all. Hopefully y'all uh, love it too.
I don't know how to explain it, but I know the words will only do. Miracles with signs and wonders, all enough for me to prove to you. No. Sing it out loud if you know it now. Don't you know I've always loved you? Before there was time Will you turn away I tell you still Don't you know I've always loved you And I always will We're going to bring up to the stage Our good friend, Mr. Josh Wilson Y'all say hey to Josh Sing this out now. Da, da, da. It'd be awesome if we could get everybody in this whole arena to sing La Da Da with us. Are you ready, Georgia? What's next? I don't even know. We're shaking up the list so much, I don't even know what's next. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're gonna bring out, uh, we're gonna bring out Harvest one more time. One more time for Harvest Parker, come on. Thanks, thanks a lot, Mac. That really means a lot, that. Hey. You remembered that I've come out. Well, you know, it's been, a, it's been a few days since we did a show, <laughs> so. Um, Harvest is a good friend uh, of mine from church, and I know her from her brother, who's a, a good friend of mine, and, and I met her a few years ago. When did you move down to Atlanta? Not that long ago. 2010. Okay. So 2010, and I saw her lead worship at my church and was just blown away by uh, just her, not only her voice and her songwriting, but, but by her just heart for the Lord and heart for God's people. And so... When it was time for us to put together this worship album, uh, I had played some songs of, of Harvest uh, on, on a couple of records that, that she has uh, for the guys in the band. I said, you've got to hear this lady's voice. I mean, it's unbelievable. And so everybody was, became a fan of Harvest real quick. And so we were like, man, let's have her come sing on the record. And so we had her come sing on the Lead Us Back record. Um, anybody have the new album, Lead Us Back? Anybody? All right. The rest of y'all better get to it now. And um, so we had her come in and sing on the record, and she sounded so great. And, and then she put together a choir, her and her brother Daniel put together this choir for the album, and, and they sang great throughout the whole album. And we thought, man, it would be cool if we brought Harvest out on tour with us. 
and we've gone throughout the U.S. and even a bunch of Canada on this mm -hmm. uh, tour, and then here we are now in our home state of Georgia. It's pretty crazy. And introducing Harvest to the rest of y'all who don't know who she is. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about tonight because this is my like one shot for maybe people to already have known who I am. So, does anyone know me out there? Okay, all right, all right. This is, this is my claim to fame right here. I'm going to soak it in for three seconds. Enjoy it. Awesome. Enjoy That's it. That's it. Now, and I will say that she has a couple of great records that are, do you have your CDs here tonight, Priscilla? They are here. Okay. She has a couple of great CDs here tonight. I, I want to tell you, I don't know if y'all know this, I read the other day, on average, the average American buys one CD a year. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to encourage you tonight. If you only buy one CD this year, please go buy the new Third Day Lead Us Back album that just came out like a month ago. That's strike two, Matt. You, you forgot to, you forgot I was coming out and you're telling people to buy your album. But if you so buy two records this year, you might want to go check out Harvest Parker's record. So we're going to do one of her songs. What, this is my favorite song, or one of my favorite songs of hers. She's got a, many, many great uh, songs. And so uh, I'm going to go back here and, and sing some background vocals. And y'all say hey to our good friend, Harvest Parker. Yeah, I grew up listening to Third Day, so to have Matt Powell say that he's going to go sing background vocals for one of your songs is pretty legit. It's pretty awesome. It still kind of blows my mind every time, actually. Um, well, I'm excited to be here. I love having friends and family, um, being able to see what we've been doing for the past two and a half months. And so um, it's amazing to share a song that's so uh, a part of your life and your heart. And the song I'm about to sing tonight is called Song of the Lamb. And I wrote it a couple years ago. And uh, you ever watch a movie or hear a story that it just, it impacts you so much that you're like, I can't move on from this moment without some kind of response. You can't go on with life, business as usual, normal, after you hear something that jars you know, your heart. And so I heard this story a couple years ago. It was uh, about these two young men from Germany in about the 1700s, and uh, you know, fire, passionate, on fire for Jesus, uh, willing to give God everything. And word came that there was this island in the West Indies where there were about 3,000 slaves that lived there and had no access to the gospel. The slave owner of this island, he was a complete atheist, and he said, never will any clergyman, any pastor, any missionary step foot on my island. And so these 3,000 precious souls were never going to hear the name of Jesus. And word came back to Germany, and these two young men heard it. And I can just imagine them hearing the story and loving Jesus as much as they did, looking at each other and saying, we can't hear this and do nothing. So they decided to do something really radical. They decided that if they can't go as a pastor, as a clergyman, as a missionary, that they themselves were going to become slaves, sell themselves into slavery in order to reach these people for Jesus. And the story goes that you know, they got on the boat, the boat's pulling away from the dock. They have their family, their loved ones, their friends just all lining the island, crying, lining the shore, just crying, weeping. It's probably be the last time that they'd ever see them again. As the, the boat pulled away from the dock, they said that these two young men shouted with all of their heart, May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. And from that phrase, that anthem, a whole missions movement started in the community. And not just 3,000 souls were saved, but thousands upon thousands and thousands. And I heard that and I was like, God, would there be a cry again? Would there be an anthem again? Would there be hearts again that would say with everything they are, may the lamb receive that which he suffered. And so it created this song. It's called Song of the Lamb. And I'd ask that the Holy Spirit tonight would create such a response in your heart.
one more time for Harvest. Praise to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our God and our King. To Him we will sing. In His great mercy, He has given us life. Now we can be called the children of God. Great is the love that the Father has given us. He has delivered us. He has delivered us. Children of God, sing a song and rejoice. favorite scriptures. It's an amazing verse. It comes from 1 John chapter 3. Check it out. 1 John chapter 3, starting in verse 1. It says, how great, how great is the love of the Father that he has lavished or that he has poured out on us, that we can be, that we get to be called the children of God. Amen. So tonight as we stand together, and as we sing with one voice and with one heart, we've got to be reminded we haven't done anything to win this merit. We haven't done anything to be good enough to have this wonderful title that's given to us. We are provided, we are given this title because of what Jesus has done for us 2,000 years ago on the cross. And so tonight we sing in confidence, not because of who we are, but because of who God has made us, tonight we sing in confidence. And you may not, you may be in a place tonight where you don't feel confident in your faith. You may feel like you don't, like you don't, like you can't sing these words. Like you don't deserve to sing them. The answer is yes, you're right. You don't deserve. We don't deserve. But because of what he has done, he has made us worthy. Because of his great love for us tonight. So let's sing in faith with confidence. The words, we are the saints, we are the children, we've been redeemed, we've been forgiven, we are the sons and the daughters of our God. Can I get an amen from somebody here tonight? Let's sing it out. We are the saints, we are the children. Here we go. We are the saints, we are the children, we've been redeemed, we've been forgiven, we are the sons and daughters of our God. We are the saints, sing it. All the sons and daughters of our God. Hey. Children of God, sing your song and rejoice.
Georgia, sing it out loud with us. Come on. We are the saints. We are the children. We've been redeemed. We've been forgiven. We are the sons and daughters of our God. Sing it like you mean it. Come on. We are the sons and daughters of our God. Amen. Pursues me with his love, haunts me with each hearing of his softly spoken words. My conscience a reminder the forgiveness they have me. Who is this King of Glory? Offers it to me. His name is Jesus, shall sing. His name is Jesus, precious Jesus, the Lord Almighty, the King of my heart, King of glory. And who is this King of glory? His strength and majesty In wisdom beyond measure The gracious King of kings yeah. The Lord of earth and heaven The creator of all beings He is the King of glory This next song is, uh, is my favorite song from the new album. So uh, we're going to sing it through a little bit, and maybe hopefully you can sing it back. If you don't, it's going to make me sad. Sing it out. It's called Victorious. 
In all the heavens there is one Who conquered death alone And brought our freedom Your throne will last throughout all time Let all the nations bow and bring you praise Victorious, the reign victorious Over sin, over death, over all, over us yeah. Come on, Georgia! state is the ones that we love i gotta tell you i just do not like it when i go see a band play and they play a bunch of new songs i don't like it i'm like come on man play the songs i know but we got to do one more just one more new song and i know doing a new song back to back is kind of weird but this one's easy all you got to do is when i point out there at y'all all you got to do is sing so on fire All right, get up with us now. Let's practice this. Oh, how's it go? One, two, ready, and God, I'm running for your heart. I'm running for your heart. Till I am a soul. They got it. They don't need to practice. They don't need no practice. Mr. Matt Marr, come on up here and join us now. Y'all say hello to Matt Marr. Here we go. I'm running for your heart, I'm running for your heart, till I am a soul on fire. Lord, I'm longing for your ways, I'm waiting for your day. When I am 
believe in God the Father, Almighty Maker of heaven and Maker of earth, and that Jesus Christ is only begotten Son of Lord. I believe in death. He descended in hell. On the third day, he rose again. Well, we're at the end of the night, and goodness gracious, I, 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 I stayed in there with my voice, and it was all because y'all helped me out a lot tonight, Georgia. Thank you. <laughs> Got to say a big, big thank you to the fish for putting this whole thing on, for Fish Fest, for making it happen. Come on. Thanks to everybody at the fish. We listen to the fish all the time in the, in the minivan, going down the road, taking the kids to school and all that stuff. And we are so thankful for such a great station that, that plays such great music and lets us know what's going on in the community and in the Atlanta area. And so uh, y'all support them, listening to them, listen to them, go to the concerts, uh, just uh, pray for them and their ministry. And it's, uh, it's amazing to be uh, in ministry with them. I also want to thank uh, so much uh, to the Carriage Auto Group for uh, Carriage Nissan and Carriage Kia and all the, the whole Carriage family for supporting this night, for, for, uh, for sponsoring Third Day and for being a big help to us and helping to get the word out about our music. And it's, uh, it's amazing, uh, the support, you know, just like this, this local kind of group that, that puts so much uh, behind us and helps us. We can't thank Carriage enough. So y'all give them a big hand. Come on, Carriage. I was just told, also sponsoring the night is uh, Food for the Hungry, and Jason did an amazing job speaking. So much an amazing job, and you guys listening to that response, I was just told my manager, and I don't know what the numbers are or whatever that stuff is, but he said tonight, y'all have broken a record with Food for the Hungry for sponsorship. So that's amazing. That's crazy. I knew y'all were good. I didn't know you were that good. <laughs> Amazing, man. 
Thank you so much for the support of, of Food for the Hungry. Y'all know that they do so much more than just provide food, even though that's in the, in the title. It's, you know, medicines and education and sharing the gospel with these children around the world and their families. It's an amazing thing that they do. We've, we've, we've been third day. You know, we've been a band for, if you don't know much about us, we're from here in Atlanta. We've been together for 22 years now. And we, um, through those 22 years, we've been, had the great fortune of being able to do a lot of cool things and go to a lot of cool places and win some awards and do all kinds of stuff. And uh, really, of all those accolades and things that we've acquired through the years, honestly, and I mean this with all my heart, the thing that we're most proud of it through, through because of you guys and through working with great organizations like Food for the Hungry, there have been over 35,000 children's lives change because of... Uh, you guys and your sponsorship of children. And that goes to be beyond 35,000 children. I think it's kind of like, you know, when you hear the story about Jesus multiplying the few loaves of, of bread and fish and how we hear there were 5,000 people there and we know there was a lot more than 5,000 because that was just the men that were counted. There were children and women there too. When we say 35,000 children's lives are changed, that means 35,000 families have been changed because of you guys. And it's an amazing thing you're doing. Thank you. Once again, for all our friends, it's hard to keep up with us. So many great people here, but Josh Wilson, Colton Dixon, Brandon Heath, Matt Marr. Come on, one more time. In fact, I don't know if any of them are still over there. If anybody's over there, any of our friends are still here, that, that they probably all took off to Nashville. They got to get home, but if anybody wants to join us, y'all come on up. This is a song that was written by a great, great friend of ours. And what an uh, honor to be able to sing this song for many, many years. Georgia, you never cease to amaze us. Thank you for the support. We'll see you at the Braves game August 9th, y'all. Come, come loud. Sing this with us. We gather together and we lift our hands and we raise our voices and we join together as the body of Christ here. Be reminded that that our work that the Lord is pleased when we get together and we sing songs that lift up the name of Jesus and we give him praise and we give him thanks. The Lord is pleased in that. I have no I know it may sound cheesy, but I have no doubt that we have put a smile on our Lord's face tonight. I have no doubt of that. lose it up here <laughs> and I look to the side and I see Brandon and I see Matt and I'm reminded of the songs these great songs that they've written that they sing that encourage us when I listen to the fish with my kids and I'm just, man we love y'all we love you so much and we're so thankful for you I'm reminded of 
us starting out as these punk kids right outside of Atlanta who just simply love music and love the Lord and want to share what's in our hearts with people through music. And God has taken that and worked on it for 22 some odd years and allowed us to be here with you tonight and be here with some of our closest friends in all of Christian music. And um, we are humbled. And we, amen. And, I, and we, want, we want to remind you just real quick and then we're done. That the Lord loves it when we sing to him. He loves it when we, and I mean, it's throughout scripture. It's, you know, it's biblical to do those things. But there's a great scripture in Romans 12. It says, therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy. In other words, in seeing what the grace and the mercy he's given every single one of us. In view of God's mercy, offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and pleasing to God. So in other words, it's saying, offer everything that you have, everything that you are, not just your voices lifted up on Sunday or at a, or at a Christian concert, but offer everything that you have. Surrender to God. Surrender and follow Him. And it's only then will we find true grace and mercy and life and peace. So tonight, if anybody's kind of running from God like I did for so many years, running from God and running from what the plan that he has for you, you're missing out. You're missing out. If you're not living by the plan that he has for you, you're not experiencing real life. So tonight, surrender to God. Follow him. Offer your whole bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. As we sing one more time together, sing holy. Holy Sing Amen. Amen. Thank you, Georgia. We love y'all.